All right, so this is my uh, final presentation um, on Christian heroes. Uh, today we're going to talk about C.S. Lewis um, and his life story, I guess. So C.S. Lewis was, uh, he lived from 1893 to 1963. Um, he was born in um, Ireland. And um, the majority of his adult life he spent uh, as a um, fellow at Magdalen College in uh, Oxford. Um, he spent a majority, um, by the time of age 15, he knew he, was, he wanted to write poetry. Um, he was uh, deeply inspired and moved by poetry and wanted to write it. And so he spent um, his years after um, 15, um, writing poetry and practicing it, and eventually applying to many colleges and had many denials. But um, finally, he was accepted as a fellow to Magdalen College, Oxford. Um, he taught medieval literature. Um, Lewis spent most of his time, he was an atheist, so he would, of course, um, was excited to spend his time at Oxford um, speaking with other professors of, um, atheism and, um, reading athe uh, atheist, uh, uh, poetry and beliefs. And he, to his uh, surprise, found himself, um, reading poetry such as Spencer and Milton, um, who are inspired Christian poets. And he also find to his surprise that he spent his time, um, with Christian thinkers rather than atheists um, during his uh, early years at Magdalen College. Um, C.S. Lewis had a desire um, in his early years at college for uh, joy. He put it as, joy is uh, my desire and in that joy I find satisfaction. He understood uh, the concept that if there was to be a desire, there has to be a satisfaction. Um, and this bothered him because if there is, um, he couldn't find satisfaction or joy in the concept of um, if there is joy in, uh, uh, if there is a, a desire to eat, there is satisfaction in um, food. Um, if there is, you know, a desire to um, be healthy, there's a satisfaction in running and working out. Um, and he had a desire to understand um, uh, his joy and um, to have the satisfaction. Um, so his and his desire was um, ultimately understanding um, his purpose and um, after life in eternity and he found satisfaction in talking to Christian thinkers and reading their poetry because he didn't realize that at first but it gave him satisfaction because he understood um, his his desire was being satisfied and in his satisfaction he found his joy um, so after much resisting um, he eventually gave in to God um, in 1931 um, but he didn't just, he didn't give into Christianity, he gave into theism. And he was, then once he admitted that there is a God, he moved on to asking, um, who, who is this God? How do I worship him? Um, he was interested by Hinduism and Christianity, or the two religions that, and two gods that made sense of him. Um, after much more uh, critical thinking and uh, deep thinking of Christianity and talks with close friends and close friends such as J.R.R. Tolkien, who is, of course, the author of Lord of the Rings, who was a close friend of Lewis's, he um, had much deep discussion with friends such as this. And eventually in 1931, um, on a morning trip, a long morning trip, he took to the zoo with his brother. He um, 
at the beginning of the trip didn't believe there was a God. And by the end of the trip, without even in his words much thinking on the subject, believed there was uh, Jesus was the son of God. Um, sorry, I, I must have said that. At the beginning of the trip, he didn't believe that Jesus was the son of God. But by the end of the trip, he believed Jesus was the son of God without even much thinking or consideration during the trip for that specific topic. He said it was like a man who was asleep and then was awake and he wasn't able to explain um, why he just had this um, shift in his heart um, to believe. Um, he would later uh, continue to have, uh, he would have close uh, discussions with close friends of his, including, of course, J.A.R. Togan and other close friends of his. Um, they would gather once a week and share their writings. And during those years, uh, Lewis produced his famous work, The Screw, the Screw Tape Letters. Uh, in the early 1940s, he delivered talks on various Christian topics over pr British radio. His fame, his fame grew throughout uh, Great Britain and the United States. Out of those talk, uh, um, out of the, those talks came uh, the book *Mere Christianity*, a um, penetrating work on Christian apologetics. Countless Christians point to uh, that book as an essential part of their Christian uh, journey. If seals were any indication to um, his popularity, then even 40 years after his death, uh, C.S. Lewis would still be considered one of the most pop popular Christian thinkers of the 20th century, um, which I think we um, all know is true, that he's still extremely popular in our um, uh, devotions and uh, his book sales are still um, among the best. Um, so this is essentially uh, C.S. Lewis and his journey from being an atheist to becoming one of the best uh, Christian thinkers of all time.